Welcome back to The Handy Landlord. I'm working on a comfort maker. It's a 45,000 BTU. It's a N80 ESN 045, 14 inches wide. I'm working on this furnace because the gas company says the gas valve needs replaced. For that, I use my top test uh, link down in the description. It's also on my Amazon page. Stick this right there. Give it a second. And you can see that it's leaking through. So this gas valve is leaking gas through. I have a new gas valve right here. It's uh, an OEM part because this furnace is actually covered under warranty. The bad part about this job is it has, I don't know if you can see that little guy right there. This place has a bunch of creepy crawly little friends everywhere. First thing I do, shut off the gas. Anytime I am working on these jobs with these kind of bugs, I go ahead and I take my tools out of here. So I get my tools that I'm not using right at that current time out of here. I do not carry my entire tool bag in the house. You can see, uh, you can see I have limited tools. I have, yeah. And I already took a couple screws out of right here. So I can hopefully slide it apart. I'm 100% certain that the CEO of Comfort Maker ICP Products probably watches my channel. If so, why do you make this box so big that if you're if it's a downflow that this hits hits your pipe? What why why is this box not like another half an inch shorter or smaller? So what I'll do in a lot of cases like this is I will actually cut this box down and shrink it down so it, it doesn't need to be that big for just a couple wires in there. I'm just amazed that they haven't fixed this over the years. Go ahead and take this union apart, start getting this valve out of here. Pop this screw. Pop this screw out. Pop that screw out. Uh, go ahead and disconnect these wires to take note of which one goes on top, which one goes on bottom. Okay, it's extremely nice that there's no water heater right here. Uh, it's on the other side of the wall, but uh, I was able to just suspend that whole whole setup right out of there. I think it'll come out now because I got a little bit more play. All right, slip this bad boy out of here. All right, gotta take this and this off. All right, everything looks the same. Double check it, make sure everything is the same. Ah, wowzer. That sucker's on there. This goes just like this. And this goes on there just like that. Boom, boom. All right, I'll put this back together using some Blue Monster pipe thread sealant. All right, I have a nice little bead on there. All right, let me thread them together. No, I gotta go one more turn. Yeah, I gotta go one more turn because it should be on this side. Dang on it. All right. All right, now I have to reinstall this piece. This is a street 90 and then just a regular 90. I think this is either a two or two and a half inch uh, piece in there. It's in the instructions whenever you're installing it. And there's a roach that is quickly approaching me right now. I figured as much. What's going on? Siri is talking to me. Siri always wants to know what I'm doing. I like to have too much in there, but I do like to just have a little bit in the threads in there just to make sure I never want to leak. Done. All right, let me go one more time around, I'll be good. Check out where that roach crawled down into. Right down in there. Not a very smart roach, it's not a good spot to be. I 
I got those two screws in. Green on top, blue on the bottom. And I already made a mistake because I forgot to hook this ground up to that screw right there. box all shrank down still slips in still slips into those original holes there's plenty of room for the wires and then I already drilled the holes boom just like that so now you're not having to shove that pipe on there now this is the outlet side of the gas valve turn this on I got it hooked up right there and then I will hook up this is always tricky because it's there we go it's always tricky because you don't want to lay it on here and get burnt or something so uh, all right there we go the gas valves on let me hook let me slip that back in there temporarily and then uh, I will zero this out all right zeroed it out got it hooked up slip the uh, exhaust pipe back in turn it on turn the gas on yeah, let me turn this on heat there she goes she fires right up all right so we're at 3.94 so what we need to do is take that screw off and adjust it so I'm backing it out just a little bit at a time so here we go I'm gonna back it out I need to set it at about 3.5. It's gonna fluctuate a little bit, but right around there, that's good. I'll put that brass cap back on there. All right, now that the valve has changed, just end with the same test that I started with. Just like that, just hold it there. Check to make sure it's not leaking. There's a big, big dog next door. It's really big. So check to make sure you don't have any leaks and you're good to go. Thank you for all you guys that use my, uh, I probably look like a moron, but uh, thank you for all you guys that use my Amazon link, my affiliate links, uh, watch my channel, like, subscribe, do all that. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much. So thanks for watching.